again, we give more praise to how we're going to stand there with John. The Lord of the Elders that rule well. The Han Gabar Rakar Riyamla. Much love to all your brothers around the world that's pushing the truth, the sincerity and truth. Alright? Now we got the car. We got to bring some news and some scriptures they want to bring out. We're going to set it off. The car, you got the pull. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 13 when he uttered his voice there is a multitude of waters in the heavens and he quoted the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth he make it lightnings with rain and bring it forth the wind out of his treasure Seven. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings of the rain, and he bringeth the wind out of his treasury. Ah, bringeth wind, strong storms. What can you give to these people in India? Strong rain. by measure when he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder then did he see it and declare it he prepared it yea and searched it out Because you said Bolivia is refusing 
order food from McDonald's. Man, I wish it was like that in Trinidad. I wish it was like that in Trinidad, because they love the KFC and Church of Chicken. Now, Bolivia is getting hip to the white man putting poison in the food. Like you had said, um, MSG, aspartame, all right? That food in KFC, that's not real chicken. What? That's not real chicken, that's Frankenstein chicken. Those are GMO, okay? I don't know if you want to break down. Yeah, more than genetically modified organisms, right? They go, they, they put, they pump different hormones and enzymes inside of these chickens to grow them up quick, right? And these hormones and these enzymes are not being destroyed by heat when you're cooking them, right? So when you feed them, internally what goes on, your body, your DNA, start to perform or change towards that food that you eat. So the saying you are what you eat is actually true. Right, so that way you realize little boys getting breasts, and little girls getting a period and getting breasts. Um, yeah, because, than unusual. Yeah, like a, like a baby chicken, it takes about what six months for it to be an adult. But the chicken that they're using in KFC, it takes about six weeks for the chicken to be on for uh, to be an adult, or less than that. So that chicken that these Negroes is eating on the island, it's affecting them in a big way. That's why they got high blood pressure. That's why they got yeah, diabetes. They a lot of them got cancer. All right? Yeah, because of that food that, that food that they eat, like they McDonald's, breathe. Burger King, Papa John's. All right? That's why I say do never trust our enemy. So, so we know the Illuminati is what? It's the enemy. They control all the food, brother. They control the export and import that comes on the island. So now you see today that everybody's getting fatter. That's why you see men with, uh, with breasts now. Men got uh, boobs because of the food that they eat. It. So now they buy it. Now, the, the soda they got on the island are Chubby's, uh, Sea Drink, Caribbean Cool. You have to stay away from all that. Caribbean Cool is not no, that's not real fruits that they put in the body. Now when you look at Caribbean Cool, when you see the label, they have names that you cannot pronounce. They always say you cannot pronounce the name, do not put it in your body. And they love Cokes. Cokes is pork. The syrup that they use in Coca-Cola is pork. And the most high is against a man that's what? That eats wine. So now give me uh, Proverbs 2 for a minute. Give me Proverbs 23 real quick. Give me Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23. Starting at verse 6. Proverbs 23, verse 6. Come on. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. That said, eat the bread. Eat not the bread. That what? That has an evil eye. Now, we know that the white man has an evil eye towards our people. Alright? We know that he has an evil eye. Because in Warfare Square, they was lynching Negroes. They had an auction box now in Warfare Square. Alright? So what the white, what the, what the British did they to us? They was hanging us. They was lynching us. They was lynching us in Scarborough, uh, uh, Warfare Square, and these different big parks. But the Negroes forgot about this. And now, if the white man did, to, did this to us, imagine what he's doing to the food. It's called genocide. It's called genocide, man. They're killing over our people by what? Giving them high blood pressure, giving them AIDS, giving them cancer, giving them diabetes, giving them uh, sugar, okay? And sugar is the number one drug that they're pushing on our people. Everything that you see in the food that we eat has a lot of sugar in it, man. So now, the, elder, the elderly is not cooking food like they used to do when they was making their own coconut oil, when they was um, making food out of provision. But now, what they do? They go to Mario's and buying food for the family. What they doing now? They going to Jack's and buying food for the family. What they doing now? They going to these nasty doubles and buying the food for the family. When they mix those channels with their feet, that's, that's what they send in do. They mix it with their feet. And they put rat feces in a chatter. They put rat feces and Negroes there. Give me more, boy. <laughs> Come on, man. So now give me the scripture real quick. Eat Proverbs chapter 23, verse 6. Come on. Eat thou not the bread of him uh -huh. that hath that evil eye. So the most I say, do not eat the bread of that man that have an evil eye. The East Indians don't love the Negroes on his island. The East Indians pray to Shiva, Ganesh, Mother Lashmi, Bhavati. The East Indians, they smile in your face, but behind closed doors, they can't stand the Negroes. They can't stand the Negroes. But they want to come in your, hey brother, hey brother. Come on, man. The East Indians know we're not related. 
the East Indians can't stand the Negroes on this island. When Kamala became a prime minister, she gave all the contracts to the East Indians. And the Negroes, or Masons, Carpenters, I don't was stuck without work. So now, read that again, and give me one say, do not trust our enemy. Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes 12, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 6. Come on. Eat thou not the bread of him uh -huh. that hath an evil eye. Uh -huh. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. Uh -huh. Yeah, so neither desire his dainty meats. Don't desire his nasty food, man. Start making your own food from scratch. And a lot of Negroes love parboy rice on this island, man. Parboy is not healthy for you. Parboy been stripped from all the nutrients, all the nutrients that it originally had. The husk, all that is stripped from parboy rice. Parboy rice, you better eat enough, uh, 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 what's that, uh, um, plaster. You better off eating, uh, 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 what's that, cement. Because if there's no nutrients in parboy rice, that's when you use a bathroom, it stinks real bad after eating all that parboy rice. All right, go ahead. But hey, give me Proverbs 15 verse 7, 17. So as he thinketh in his heart, come on. So is he. Uh-huh. Eat and drink, saith he to thee. Yeah, that's what the East Indians are telling the Negroes. That's what the white man's and the Syrians. That's what they say, eat and drink, buddy. Eat and drink. But the food that they're giving you, they pray to their other gods. The food that they're giving to you is not healthy. All that white flour that these Negroes consume, it's not healthy. That's why a lot of these women and men got big bellies. Because of all that yeast that they put in their body. They wonder why they can't use the bathroom every day. You're supposed to use the bathroom twice each day. Twice. But that's a lot of these Negroes in this island. They probably use it in the restroom one time out of the week. It's not good for you. That's not healthy. That's not good. That's, not, that's unhealthy. So now, when you have all of now when you have all that boo boo in your stomach, what happens? You start getting um, um, different types of diseases because your system is designed to use the bathroom twice out the, out, 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 out the day. So now all this, you start your breast starts stinking. You start having pimples on your face because the feces is not coming out your bowels. The bowels is not coming out. You got something to say, um, bro? Uh, I just scripture. I just scripture. Oh, you got scripture? Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, read. For as he takes it in his heart, come on. So is he. Uh huh. Eat and drink. Uh huh. Said he to thee. Yeah, he said eat and drink. Said to thee. Come on. But his heart is not with thee. Yeah, but his heart is not with thee. these heathens. It's not with these Negroes on his island. They think that the heathens is with them. The Chinese. What the, what they put? They got a video on YouTube that Chinese is importing dog into the island. They, Shop dogs, man. That's why when you uh, when you see their trucks come in into their restaurants, who's operating the truck? The Chinese, not the Negroes, not the Latinos, not the Caribs, because that meat is dog meat that they give it in those in those rice. When you say you're getting beef fried rice, you're not getting beef fried rice. You're getting dog fried rice, and it's an abominable abominable to eat dog and rats. And rats. They closed a, a, a restaurant, uh, I forgot, was it Kirok somewhere? Yeah, like two years ago? Yeah, they, they had a wild meat, they had dogs and cats in there, man. And they had rats. But our people don't support each other. They support the Chinese. They support the Syrians. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't like to support each other, man. Now go ahead, uh. Right. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Come on. Eat and drink, says he to thee. Come on. But his heart is not with thee. Yeah, but his heart is not with thee. Come on. The muscle which thou hast eaten shall thou vomit up. Uh huh. And lose thy sweet words. And lose thy sweet words. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ecclesiastes 12, verse 10. Come on. Never trust thine enemy. The most I said, what? Never trust thine enemy. The most I said, never trust thy enemy, man. And we do have enemies. These right here, this is the nation of Israel, Yasharala. These are the chosen people of God, the Negroes, Latino, and the natives. The most I said, never trust thy enemies. The Assyrians can't stand the Negroes. The Chinese can't stand the Negroes on this island. The white men definitely can't stand us. But they work together well. Negroes don't work together, man. Negroes can't stand each other, man. Let's go back to that Willie Lynch. 
It goes back to that genocide, man, to destroy the mind. They said, you know what? Let's take the shackles off the Negroes. Let's take the uh, let's take the yoke of iron. But you know what? Let's put the chain in their mind. So they they psychologically psychologically warfare. That's warfare right there, man. But. by living in the spirit because he said carnal a uh, carnal mind is enmity with the most high it's easy to lose weight it's easy to lose weight all you gotta do is eat greedy reese for like um, two weeks and then you teach you taught you teach you how to lose weight eating pause eating provision eating a lot of greenery it's easy to lose weight you know go ahead guys let's do a book 15, 17. Come on. But that is the, but that is the dinner of herbs. So now it's a better, it's better of a dinner of herbs. But a lot of these black women, a lot of them eat herbs, but guess what? They put Maggie in it. Maggie is MSG. It's called Mario Soda and Glumate. What Maggie does, it destroys your brain cells and your nerves throughout your whole body. That's why this island, this island is blessed with Shadow Benny, Bodhi, but they want to go get, give me Maggie now, give me my, give me Vincent now. <laughs> to enhance the flavor in their food. But they don't know that it's doing damage to their mind. And it's doing damage to their children. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. And now the coconut milk in the powder, that's more dangerous than Maggie. It got cassiate in the back of it. Cassiate is what? It's pretty much MSG. Don't get, don't get. Your MSG, body and sodium glutamate, will destroy your, your, your nerves in your body. So if you want to get coconut milk, get the coconut milk. They got a Goya brand in Hardee's. You can get that, or you can make your own coconut milk from coconut. But our people lazy. They don't want to do that no more. They want everything fast. And fast is what? It's an equivalent to fast death. And sickness. And disease. Go ahead, Ari. Yeah, I just want to say, what they do, right? You will go in the grocery and you see these. You might buy like guava jelly. And when you look at the ingredients, you see guava jelly and a whole set of the things you can't pronounce, you don't know what you mean enough. These are the things that preserve it to give these things shelf life. And what they do, when you put that in your, in your, in your belly, your internals actually, it, it, it preserves your internals to calcify it, it makes it hard. You understand? So it doesn't function properly. These things actually destroy in your inside. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Give me the scripture, then I give you back the floor. Give me that scripture real quick. Proverbs 23, verse 1. Come on. When thou settest to eat with a ruler. Uh-huh. Who yeah, who's the ruler? The Assyrians? The Chinese? Uh, the white man? They're the ruler. Because there's no emancipation on this island. The Negro's never been free. Try to go to, to try to go to America without a passport or visa. I dare you. I dare you. So they're not free. They're because some of them are not paying rent. They think they're free. They're not free. They're in captivity in the state of mind right here. They're in captivity. They don't know who they are. The Negroes, Latino, and the new, you know, the Negroes, Latino, and the natives, they're the original Jews of the Bible. They don't even know that. They think they're African. We ain't Africans. We are the chosen people of God, man. And we're going to go more deeper into that. All right. And the Bible, that's why the Bible is so beautiful. Hold on. Hold on, Ross. The Bible is so beautiful. Hold on, my brother. The Bible is so, the Bible is so beautiful because it tells you who you are in the Bible. That's why the Bible is so beautiful. But Negroes don't read. All right, so what are we talking about? Give me that. Give me that. Go back to that real quick. Then I'm going to go back to Africa again. Proverbs 23, verse 1. Come on. When thou settest to eat with the ruler, Come on. consider diligently what is before thee. Yeah, so now when you're sitting, eat your food, consider what's in front of you. You got to know what you're eating. My brother, for us, for us, be cool, for us, for us. Be cool. Oh God. Oh God. Read, 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 read. Read, go ahead. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, I say, when sittest down to eat with a ruler, consider diligence before thee. And put a knife in thy throat. Uh huh. 
if thou be a man given to appetite, uh -huh. be not desirous of the dainty. Yeah, so don't be desirous of this dainty. You gotta know what you put in your body. You know? Ingredients like garlic, like onions. He don't need Maggie to make his food taste good. And Maggie just a poison was created by the Japanese in 1909. All right? And a white man took it and incorporated it in his food. And that's why these McDonald's and uh, KFC is rising up. They got Maggie in it. They has MSG in it, man. Huh? You're not supposed to put that in your body. That's why in America, you see eight years old girls having full grown breasts because of all that chicken that they put in their body, man. Huh? Little girls having full grown breasts. Little girls having a period at the age of seven, man. Huh? Because of the white man food, man. Huh? What you got? Bring it up. I'll go, um, it's easy to construct the two tables to teach. Come on. Health the and then the state of the body uh -huh. are above all gold. Come on. And a strong body above infinite wealth. That's right. So a strong body is, 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 is infinite wealth. Because what's good of having money when you got a continuous sickness? I thought you were going to bring that up. So it's good to have a good body, a strong body, man. Like a verse of verse 14. Come on. Better is the poor being strong, being strong and strong uh -huh. constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. That's right. A rich man that's afflicted in his body. They got not only Negroes in his island, they, they poor, but they got good health. More than those, uh, those rich crackers over there in West Morris. So what's good to having all that money and you're going to die less than a year? Because that money's going to go back to go to your children anyway. So it's good to have a healthy body. It's good to walk. Instead of taking a maxi to, from uh, from hell to Belmont, try to walk. You know, these, these sneakers gotta take taxi everywhere they go and they can walk it. Exercise is very important. It prompts a little, but it's important. Go ahead, huh? All right, verse 16. Come on. There's no riches above his song body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Uh -huh. Death is better than a better life or continuous sickness. Yeah, so the scripture saying death is better than a what? A, a continuous life sickness. Or continuous sickness. You, know, you, can't, you can't enjoy yourself because you're sick. You got all this money in your bank account, but you can't enjoy it because you're sick. Because of all that poison that you put in your body, man. It's true. It's about truth.